welcome to the Goethe Institute Los Angeles to our panel about film funding. We celebrate German cinema again with our wonderful partners, the American Cinematic, German Films, the MFG Film Funding Baden-Württemberg, Lufthansa and the Friends of Goethe, our great sponsors, Porsche, Beverly Hills, Elma, Euro Channel and the Standard Hotel in Hollywood. Thank you so much for your great cooperation. I also and especially want to thank the German Consulate General in Los Angeles, Kim Yutani from Outfest, and Vera Mijolic from Seafest for their support. But now it's my great pleasure to welcome our moderator for today's panel, Oliver Mart from German Films, who will introduce the panelists. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Annette and um, Margit, for hosting this event and Goethe Institute. Um, since we're so many, um, I would say let's go right away into it and introduce. Um, left to me is Christine Berg from uh, the German Federal Film Funding, project manager. Next to her sits Dieter Kraus from MFG Film Funding in Baden-Württemberg. And uh, Andres Feil, who is a filmmaker and the director whose film you can see tomorrow night. First, I would say uh, let's do some information about the different film funds. And uh, we have a PowerPoint presentation for that. And I think we should start with that. But I think we have to say hello at first. <laughs> so, hello, and thank you very much for this nice invitation. It's unbelievable, but the first time that I'm here and I have the chance to make a presentation about the DFFF. Um, so thank you very much to Annette Rupp and thank you very much to German Films. It's really, we appreciate that we have the chance to come to Los Angeles. And um, I think it's, it's really, it's very interesting that we have to come to, to Los Angeles and we have the chance to make a presentation about money in Los Angeles, you know. <laughs> But, okay, we will do this now. Um, and we hope that we will find a lot of projects that you come to Germany and that you realize your projects in Germany because this is what we want. Okay, but now I think we want to start. Um, so, and what we have, we, I think it's just a little bit like the United States, that it's our country and we have a federal system. We will talk a little bit about um, this more because um, the fundings in Germany are very, we have the federal fundings, but we have also the regional fundings, and they're very important in Germany. So this is the reason why we think um, it's important that you know that we have this federal system. But first of all, I want to tell you just a little bit about our system. So we have 150 productions per year in Germany, which are realized. These are productions only German productions, but also international co-productions. And I think we have something like 30% of these are international co-production. And the main um, countries are France, Austria and Switzerland. And we have only a few with America um, per year. How do you finance the film in Germany? I, I make it really, it's only an overview. I know that some films are financed in, in another way, but um, normally, you finance in Germany 50% of the whole budget with fundings, 30% with um, to sell the rights to a distributor. And the distributors in Germany are very strong and they, um, they buy the rights for the cinema, they buy the rights for um, the DVD, and TV is another section. So TV is 10% of the whole budget you will get from the TV stations and the rest 10% you have to get money from your own, so it means cash. Um, the average of the budgets for a German film is 4.5 million. And if you, fi you can finance in Germany a film, I think up to 6 million. If you want to make a film which is, which, where the budget is more than 6 million, you have to go to another country and have to see if you find a co-production um, a co-partner in another country. So this is only that you know just a little bit about our system in Germany. The fundings. We have federal fundings. We have several federal fundings in Germany. There's, first of all, there's the BKM. This is the Minister of Culture and Media. Um, this is, they have their own funding, and this is a culture funding. It's, 
I think they don't um, give money into international projects sometimes, but normally they give the money to German projects. Then we have the FFA. This is, this is the Federal Film Board. They support mainly also German films. And then we have the Kuratorium Junger Deutscher Film. I don't know what this is in English, I'm, I'm really sorry. But this is a very small, very important, but very small subsidy in Germany. And um, they support only the first and second film of the director, I think. Is this right? Okay. And then, here we are. That's my funding, our funding. Um, that's the DFFF. We call it DFFF. And um, we have a lot of money. And um, I will tell you also um, this uh, in detail, because this is, I think, the, um, the interesting funding for you for international co-production. There you can see how much money do we have. I think we have a lot of money. The BKM has 30, uh, you can see it. I don't have to read it, huh? Okay. So this is the, is the money, and now I think it's your turn, huh? Then it's now my turn, so I will give you a brief uh, overview uh, um, to the local fundings. And we start uh, in Hamburg, Schleswig-Holstein, because uh, Christine Berg worked there for many, many years. So uh, she has also experience not in the national funding, also in the local or regional funding. So this is Hamburg, Schleswig-Holstein. The next is um, Nordmedia, uh, Niedersachsen and also uh, big funding uh, for Berlin, Brandenburg uh, is the Median Board. Um, three um, states of the former GDR joined together for the Mitteldeutsche Medienförderung. Um, Filmstiftung North Rhine-Westphalia, also a very big regional funding. Then we in Baden-Württemberg um, has a, a strong um, cooperation with the film fundings. Um, there are two organizations, two bodies. Uh, with money, and then the FFF, uh, Film Fernsehfonds for Bavaria, and then that's us, um, the Filmförderung Baden-Württemberg. Um, here's also uh, an overview of the budgets um, of the um, regional fundings in Germany. This is also only the, the, the funding money, not the overhead. Um, that is uh, also important to know. So we are all, always in, a little bit in the middle with uh, nearly um, 14 million euros. We, the MFG, um, are a company um, with the shareholders in the, the state of Baden-Württemberg and all, also the SWR, very important. It's the third largest public broadcaster in Germany after the um, um, second um, channel and the WDR in North Rhine-Westphalia, and we have a strong cooperation with the um, second um, bro um, public television and uh, Arte. So these are um, very briefly our main objectives, and these are um, also similar or, um, in, in the other regions uh, with the regional funds. So at first uh, comes the film culture, but also the film and industry, which is necessary to strengthen the film culture in the different regions. Some instruments and um, goals and um, also the funding sectors um, here in Baden-Württemberg are absolutely the same in, in other um, regional fundings. Um, so it began with script funding, pre-production, production, what, what is the uh, main uh, topic uh, this um, afternoon, uh, post-production, uh, small funding, and uh, distribution, cinemas, and uh, different measures to strengthen the cultural and uh, the structure for film industry in Baden-Württemberg. So here also uh, a short uh, overview um, to, the, to the sums we gave in fundings in the different sectors, and you see production is um, the main um, sector with nearly 8 million um, euro a year, uh, but you have to know that um, we fund with, uh, we support with this 8 millions um, in 2010 nearly 40 projects. So, so general criteria, so I hand the mic uh, back to Christine and um, the general criteria is for the DFFF. Okay. Um. But first of all, I have to only that um, you really understand what we try to explain is that there are two parts. So there, the one part is the federal part. 
So it means that we have subsidies for federal, um, uh, from federal, and then we have the subsidies for the regional. And it's very important for you to know, if you use one of these, you can use also the other one. So you can combine it. That's very important to know. So if you want to finance your project, you can use the DFFF, but you can use also um, one of the regional fundings, for example, the MFG. So how you can get money, because I think this is very important for you. I want to explain today the DFFF, because the DFFF wants to have international co-productions. We supported last, the last years per year 100 projects, and we had um, more or less 40% international co-productions. So there you can see that we want to have international co-productions, but it means that you need the German producers. You can't come to us and ask for money. You need a German co-production partner, um, and he can apply for subsidy. This is one of the main things, and I think the other main thing is, we are talking today only about film, feature of films for the cinema. The DFFF, we don't support television, for example, or films which uh, were released only on DVD. That's very important. We are talking only about films which have a release in the cinema. Okay, now I start, the DFFF. Um, first of all, it's a tax money, so it means the money comes from the Minister of Culture, Mr. Neumann, and he started with this project four years, or no, now five years ago, and we have 60 million per year, and we are the... Pardon? 60 million, oh yeah, well, for sure, euro, yeah. It's, it's more in, in, in dollar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just trying to make you a little bit more popular. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's, we have more than 60 million dollars. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Um, and we are there for three, three years. That's very important to know. So we started in 2007, and then we continued till 2009, and now we finished 2012. And we hope, and I think that we are lucky, that we will continue again, but only for three years. So then we end at 2015. Very important to know. Um, it's only production funding. We don't have these other fundings um, like scripts. So we give money only if you want to realize your film. If you have a script which is finished, the last draft, and then you can come to us. Um, we are an automatic funding. We want to talk about this a little bit later more because um, the other fundings have another system. Automatic means that we have no jury who make a decision about your project. That's normal in Germany, but for the DFFF it's an automatic funding, and I would go through it, um, how, what, it what does it mean. Um, then what's very, very important, and I think this, you li will like this, it's a grant. So it means you get the money, but you don't have to pay it back. Yeah. Oh, somebody said, oh, yeah. <laughs> And you can get 20% of your spent in Germany. And what does it mean, spent in Germany, I will explain a little bit later. But these are the main facts of the DFFF. So, okay, how you can apply for subsidy. We said every time, you, we have three doors you have to go through um, to get the money. The first door is um, the applicant by themselves. So, as I already said, you need a German producer. And very important is that the German producers did already, or, or realized already, a film. Um, so it means that if you, if you find someone who made a film already, he can apply for subsidy. That's very important. The sec this was the first door. The second door is the project by themselves. Um, we support feature films, documentaries, and animations. The feature film has to be budget uh, more than 1 million euro, so I have to say this, 1 euro. The documentary, 200,000 euro, and the animation, 2 million euro. So if you're under this budget, you can't apply for subsidy uh, for the DFFF. It's only for the DFFF, it's very important. Um, then, and this is sometimes uh, a difficulty for the international co-productions, but you have to spend from the whole budget, more than 25% in Germany. 
So it means you have to hire people, you have to use the facilities and whatever. But you really from the whole budget, if your budget is 10 million, you have to, find, you have to spend more than 25% of this 10 million in Germany. If you don't do this, you can't apply at the DFFF. Um, and then you can get 20%. So if you spend money, for example, if you, sp if you hire people from Germany, if you use our facilities, if you use the location in Germany, then you can get 20% of this. But also, if you bring your stuff with you and you shoot in Germany and they work in Germany, we can give also 20% for this. But really, they have to work in Germany. That's very important. So this makes this DFFF very attractive for international co-production because you get 20% for the crew from Germany but also for the crew from another country if they work in Germany. So 20%. How much can you get? You can get um, up to 4 million automatically. But if you want to have more, we have a board to make the decision about um, the sum, which is more than four million. So four more million is automatically everything above this. We have a board. Euro. 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 It's every time euro. Yeah, I'm talking about euro. Sorry for this. Um, okay. Distributor. I, I told you already, but remember this, because this is very, very important, that you have a, dis a German distributor, and we have a special list with distributors, which have a reverence for us. And you need a contract with them. And you need this contract when you apply for the subsidy. And this contract has to say that he will re the film with several prints, with 30 prints in Germany. If you don't have this kind of contract, then you can't apply for our subsidy, only for the DFFF. We are the last piece of your financing. So it means you need at first, for example, another subsidy. You need, uh, you have to sell your rights or whatever, and we are the last piece. So it means you need more than, uh, you need 75% um, of your whole budget in place. And you can't um, start to shoot before you get our contract. And this is your window where you can apply, or the German producer can apply for our subsidy. So this, um, oh, and then there's one thing again, one thing, um, you have to finance in Germany more than 20% of your whole budget. But that's normal in, in Europe. I don't know if this is normal here also, but in Europe we said if you want to have money from the subsidies, then you have to finance in the, in the countries more than 20%. So... This is the second door. You remember, first door, the applicant, second door, the project by themselves. The third door and the last door is the culture test. Um, the culture test is very important for us because we don't make a decision about your, about your script and your project. Um, it's, it, and your subsidy, it's, you, you make a decision with your jury. So this is the reason why we have a culture test. Um, it's new in Germany. But, for example, in France, somebody knows it maybe from France or from other countries in Europe. It's very popular now. A cultural test means that we have three blocks. The first block is about the content. You can get points for every, um, for every criteria. For example, there's one, if you shoot in English, you don't get points. But if you make, um, if you, if you <laughs> translate, ah, if you translate it in German, thank you very much. Then, um, then you get points for this. And it's very important to get these points. If you hire a crew from Europe, then you get points for this. If you hire people, the, the head of departments, then you can get points for this. If you use our facilities, you get points for this. If, you, if your script, the main actor, for example, is from Germany, you get points for this. And you need... Um, you need more than 40 points. Um, this is very detailed, but it's only... You can get 90 points, but you need 40 points of the whole culture test. So it means your script has to do, have to have something to do with Germany or with Europe. So you can't come with a horror film, for example, <laughs> and say, oh, it's, it's a great movie, maybe it's a great movie, but you can't go through the culture test and you don't get money. So these are the three doors that you have to go through. And 
if you get the points, if you have everything, you can get 20% of your spend in Germany. So I think that's all. Okay, it's my turn? Now, yes, yeah. now it's your turn. Okay, um, then back to the regional funds and uh, you have to know that um, um, everything what I'm talking about, the regional fund in Baden-Württemberg is also um, uh, valid for the other regional funds in the uh, other regions in, um, in Germany. So uh, the main difference between the DFFF uh, to the regional funds is that we are not an automatic fund. Um, we are all selective funding, so you have to apply before you shoot. Uh, very important, um, and, and there is a selecting committee, a jury, um, which uh, will um, decide uh, about every application. So here you see um, the main criteria. Um, very important is the, the last uh, bullet point, it's the regional eco economic uh, effects. Uh, that says that you have to spend at least 120% in Baden-Württemberg and in the, uh, by, by, uh, for the other funds it's uh, about um, 150% of the supportings uh, you have to spend in the region. Um, our production supports and um, also in the other regions are for cinema and television um, and uh, also for feature documentary and other uh, kind of uh, films. Um, what is also important is that we uh, don't give um, grants, uh, we give loans. Um, as it said here, conditionally uh, repayable loan and free of interest so you can um, um, recoup at first your own investments, uh, maybe the 20% you invest in the project and then after these um, um, own investments you have to repay um, a quota, um, a share of your earnings, of your receipts um, to pay back uh, the loan um, f for the regional funds. Our maximum is 1 million, in other regions uh, maybe the, the amount um, is higher. And what is also very important, yes, the regional economic uh, if effect I told you. And we have this cooperation with the state of Hesse, Hessen, um, so you can also spend um, uh, money in Hessen to fulfill um, our regional effect. Okay, this is very important. Um, also for us, um, and special in Baden-Württemberg, um, um, we have this animation media cluster for special measures for animation and uh, visual effects studios in Baden-Württemberg to help them um, on the national but also on the international level. And um, yeah, also one of um, many services we all in all regions offer is uh, possibilities of film commissions, the special services you might know in the uh, US uh, very well. Uh, we have uh, in Baden-Württemberg um, six region regional film commissions um, located in the yeah, main sub-regions uh, for film making, for example, The Dangerous Method was shot at uh, the Lake Constance, I told you, and uh, they were in uh, close um, contact with the Film Commission Bodensee Overschwaben to do this. So, I'm through. To kill a couple of more questions, I would like um, to ask Andres Feil, who actually received film funds, how it was for him, like as the end consumer, you know, like how to apply for a film, how it went from project, you know, like till he gets funded. Um, <laughs> well, first of all, I would like to say I'm maybe not the best cast here on the panel. It would have been better having a producer offering you co-productions, uh, taking all your projects uh, to Germany. So my part will be, uh, I can put uh, the answer very short. First of all, it's a, I can say in comparison to, to the States, it's a very privileged system, what we have. So I took a lot of benefits uh, out of it. But uh, what I can say from two perspectives, one is being the director, the second one is being several times in the selection committees of several fundings. Uh, you have to be tough, you have to be resilient. So of course, uh, even if I had a lot of luck with the subsidies, uh, I was rejected quite often. And being rejected, uh, it just means to start again and try again. 
fight for your projects. So don't hesitate, go to uh, Christine or even uh, go to Stuttgart. It's a nice place, it's in Swabia. Uh, you can eat uh, with him nice uh, Maultaschensuppe um, and, uh, and drink Badian wine. Uh, but uh, I think this is very important, the close contact. I really can recommend when, when you make it to Germany, uh, build up personal contacts. Uh, talk to the people. Get into it. Know the cr criteria, first thing. Second, uh, be just very well prepared with the script. Uh, I know when I have, let's say, 60, 70, 100, 120 uh, treatments or screenplays uh, on my desk and I know maybe one-tenth can make it in the very end. Okay, you start reading and uh, so after the first uh, two or three screenplays you really want to get into something. When you really have to fight, you're, you keep on going, uh, there must be something in the very be beginning which, which really takes you to something. So work hard with it, make a, in terms of documentary, I'm at, first of all, I'm a documentary filmmaker and second uh, range, I'm a feature uh, director. So make a good research work, go into it, not offering just, let's say, three or four pages and that's it. I know commissioning editors of the TV stations, they are bored to read more, they tell you, oh, oh it's enough to, to get two or three pages because it's, uh, I don't like reading, uh, but in case of cinema, it really needs a good research work. Uh, people in, this, in the commissions, in the, the selection committees, they want to know what kind of film you're gonna make. So, uh, of course, it means uh, to be in some sort of schizophrenic situation. Making a documentary means you make a journey into reality and you don't know what will happen. So it always uh, belongs to some sort of imagination and uh, you pretend something, but at least what I like to know, reading a script, uh, that you really went into it, you know a lot, you are the master uh, of the story you want to tell. And uh, then uh, the third and uh, the last uh, point is, of course, luck. When I was rejected, sometimes it means the project was not at the right time. Uh, first of all, I, it, with my second film, it, it happened like this. It was a project about an uh, Israeli-Palestinian uh, uh, Jewish theater project. And people said, well, it's again the Holocaust and we are fed up with the issue. I have to tell you frankly, maybe uh, f last year it was okay, now but now enough. we have enough. Then something happens in Germany. That, uh, uh, people went uh, to burn down uh, asylum uh, barracks. So suddenly this issue came up again and one year later applied again and I was lucky. So uh, being rejected, it doesn't mean your project is bad or whatever. It means you are very not lucky and this is the reason why I think uh, come to the Maultaschensuppe uh, and uh, this is a chance to know, uh, to know more about the German background. Why some uh, treatment is rejected, what is... is in a way in the air in Germany uh, or with an international view, it always, we think we are very much the same, but uh, Germany is very different and Stuttgart especially, very special. <laughs> and uh, so you have to know and drink Bad and Wein and then you will know how the air is in, in Germany. Thank you. We spoke about, which was very interesting, like after we've like explained all legal and, and must haves, what are like the projects that you really look for? You know, are there projects where you all have like, oh, you know, no. Um, what should, or what do you want to tell people what kind of projects you really like? May I first, because this is from the jury's point. Um, I, it's very subjective what I say, but I think what we need, and this is a general issue, uh, and you can or may uh, say it's, it's bullshit, but I think I like scripts and it, it it's for both, it's for documentaries and fiction, with an own very specific handwriting. So this is, when I, when I say I have at home on my desk uh, 60 projects, I always look for a very specific, very personal way of looking into our reality or even fiction, if we go beyond. 
And uh, this is at first the thing I'm looking at. Now it's your turn, you say it's bullshit. <laughs> Um, yeah, in addition, I uh, will totally agree from my point of view, absolutely. Um, but um, if, if you heard about the criteria, you might know what projects um, um, are right for the different kinds of uh, fundings. Uh, you heard from Christine and she can say a lot more. It's more economic and for us it's also economic, but we have also this uh, cultural um, things uh, that you have to fulfill, so it's also uh, uh, quality and uh, uh, what I also want to, to add and point out, uh, what Andres said, if you have a project and you think uh, this is right for, for, um, for Germany and for maybe one or two or three regions in, in, um, in Germany, you need first of all a co-producer in Germany, you have to look for a co-producer who is familiar, who is experienced uh, with the system in Germany. It um, might uh, be a little bit complicated in Germany. And um, it's not written in the, in the, in the um, um, reglement and bedingungen obligations um, in, in the regional film funding. It's not written, so everybody um, can apply, but you have no chance um, if uh, there's application from, from abroad and not from Germany. So. Uh, that's very, very important. Do you want to add something? Oh, yeah, you know, this is why I love my job. Because um, I have another... <laughs> I don't have to tell him that it's bullshit what he's saying. Um, <laughs> it's his opinion that I have an automatic funding. And <laughs> this is the reason why I love it. Really, I love it. And I think um, I have the best job from all of you. Because I can, um, I can tell you that um, it's not what I want or what we want. Um, what we say, um, the, biz the, the industry has to say if this film is the best film for the cinema. Because we need a distributor and the distributor and the producer, they have to tell us that they want to make the film. And I think, in my opinion, this is the right way because I'm only a person from a subsidy and my, my, point, uh, my part in this business is that I give money but I don't say if the project is good or not uh, or if their emotions or not. I think emotion is also very important. You forgot this. Um, <laughs> I have no <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we need wine this evening <laughs> to talk about this. Um, okay, so this is, uh, for the DFFF it's really very easy because um, that's right, we uh, have a special point of view. But um, I think it's very important that the distributor and the people who work with the project, that they say that they believe in the project. And that's also very, that's true. I think also it's, it's so important that you believe in your project and that you fight for your project. Um, we love this. So, yeah. Do we have any more that you want to tell people before we open for general questions? Yeah, I think uh, one addition is, is uh, necessary when I t told you that you need a German producer. How can you get a German producer? That's also a big question. So we w will help you. And, um, uh, but it's also on your turn to, to go to the um, film markets to make contacts with uh, German producers. Um, in Germany, we, we say, okay, two noses must fit together. So uh, that's very important. And um, we can help um, f for producers, for interested producers, also the, the other colleagues in the other regions, and also um, production services, as I told you, animation, media, visual effects uh, companies, uh, studios, um, which also wanted, in some cases, uh, to co-produce. So that might also be very interesting for you. I can tell you we don't help um, with this. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but we have only we have only money. No, because <laughs> no, we know a lot of producers, but um, I think this is better if you contact the regional fundings because they know their pro their producer, and because I think it's so important to find the right person. And for us at the DWF, it's very 
um, very complicated to say, I can give you a list of producers, but this is not what you need. You need someone who said, okay, you are a producer like this and you want to make this kind of project and you need a producer who is just a little bit like you and um, this is not our work, but I know that really every reach funding will help you and it's very important that you contact them and ask, and, and ask them to find someone and not us. Um, I, I, I really would like to encourage you in terms of documentary because something is, I think, uh, we have to, to make a difference concerning the DFFF. Uh, you were talking about the condition of uh, prints, uh, 30 prints for feature films, but for documentary it's less. This is very important because when you think about 30 prints for documentaries in, uh, as a condition, it's only four. Yeah. So that's very important because otherwise you get really... Uh, yeah. You say, okay, no way to get 30 prints for, uh, for a documentary in Germany. And especially uh, the local Baden-Württemberg uh, funding uh, has a long tradition for documentaries. Uh, and uh, I think they have really a, a good affinity, may I say this? A good affinity uh, for them and there is still uh, uh, some sort of good breeding ground in terms of cinemas. There's still a culture in, in the big cities for for documentaries. You have them in the cinema, not a very huge audience, uh, to be frankly, but uh, some sort of people who are used to uh, specific scenes in terms of cinemas, in terms of festivals, uh, a culture of documentary. And I really want you to encourage to be part of it because I think we need it just right now, also from an international perspective, uh, to go on dealing uh, deeper into this very challenging reality. So thank you so much to all our panelists. Give them a warm hand. And we don't have a glass of wine, but maybe there is time with a cup of, cup of coffee to, to answer some questions. Thank you so much for being here.